We live in the era of the most innovative technology and are witnessing the most advanced amphibious vehicles. In this episode, you're gonna enjoy the most impressive technologies and how they perform so well. You will be enjoying the DUKW duck boats diving features, landing craft air cushions mind-blowing indulging moments in the waters, BMP3F's blown away security booms, AAV7A1's most adventurous cargo trooping, and ZBD-05's latest assaulting features. And there will be more than just assaulting. So let's dive into the ocean's depth and enjoy the miraculous swimming with these cutting-edge amphibiouses. Oh, but stop before going through. Remember that don't skip any of them or they are gonna attack your territory. Some bad day. Hash 5 DUKW Duck Boat. The first name in this regard is the DUKW, which is an American amphibious vehicle or you can say the most recognizable American amphibious vehicle, also known as duck boat. Its exterior is made up of the original boat's shell, having the six wheels attached to it. This amphibious is considered a perfect vehicle for having a trip on water. However, its performance is also outclassed on the road, although with a little speed as compared to on the water. Its 6x6 GMC skeleton is powered by a 269 cubic inch six cylinder engine. Although it generated only 94 horsepower, and was ideal for 50 miles per hour with an exceptional operation range of 400 miles over the road. The water propulsion starts with the single three-bladed huge-sized fans with a rudder. In addition, this rudder is to move the steering attached to the front wheels. Though the basic purpose was making the transportation of DUKW anyhow, some of their versions have cannons and rocket launchers to subdue fire while gaining outbursts to the beaches. This amphibious appeared indispensable to the attacks of Sicily and many islands of the Pacific Ocean during WW Vertical Bar Vertical Bar. Its manufacturing started in 1943 and during WW Vertical Bar Vertical Bar, and its production touched the number of 20,000 pieces in just a couple of years. When we talk about the body structure, it had a hollow airtight exterior with a tendency to float, and to make further movement, it worked with a single propeller. Hash 4 Landing Craft Air Cushion This is a social stratum of air cushioned landing craft used by the Navy of the United States and Japan's maritime self-defense. This is also known as LCAC. The first glance at it drags an impression out of you that it is a next level class on the amphibious landing boat. A fusion of technology, innovation, style, modern exterior, luxurious interior and classy vibe makes it a perfect vehicle to choose as your preference. A huge number of these crafts are used for multi-purpose hovercraft and their general sizes are small to medium. This masterpiece has simple barriers to traditional landing crafts, and they cover marshes, swampy lands, sandy beaches, and loose surfaces. This innovative technology has broadly enhanced the landing capacity of the craft, making it more boosting and creating more flexibility over the conventional landing craft. And yeah, don't forget one more thing that has similarities with mechanized landing craft. Casually, they are manufactured with machine guns, and you think that's the end? No, nope. These barriers also aid grenade launchers and heavy weapons. Whoops! This beauty was developed in the late 1970s and employed in the late 1980s. The development of landing craft proved the first key to how the Marines visualized amphibious strikes in the late 20th century. The LCAC payload capacity and boosting power amalgamate marvelously to enhance the faculty of the Marine ground element to approach the shore. Additionally, while working in overload mode, it can transport over 150,000 pounds, which means 68,040 kilograms. That's such a boom. There looks like no entertainment or fun on the road sometimes. Especially when you look at these amphibious vehicles and your vehicle looks handsome too. What do you guys think? Hash 3 BMP3 F. Yeah, you heard it right. It's BMP3 F we're talking about. Okay, let us explain it to you. It's a new version of BMP3 with many modifications in it. So you can say it is the next level of technology as many key features were not in the previous module. It has a light water repelling shield cover that supports better floating. In addition, on its turret, the water repelling cover and inside water telescopic pipe also add more securing vibes to those who are using it as their vehicle. This magnum opus offers security against one meter high waves on force 3C and can perform accurate firing in force 2C with 50 centimeters high waves. It can maximize its road speed up to 70 kmph, but the floating speed is 10 kmph. Furthermore, this giant can throw magic for seven long hours on sale. Oh yeah, surprise? Surprised. It is equipped with a 100mm gun that can also blast off anti-tank guided missiles 2A42 automatic gun and 37.63 machine guns. The coaxial gun is also one of them. This amphibious has the most advanced and secured armor that is used by robotic rifles, 
paratroopers, and marines. The top notch is that its front armor exterior resists an invasion by a 30 mm shell, while side armor shields its the vehicle to damage from bullets and splinters. However, this gigantic equipment cannot be utilized at the early stage of amphibious smack when it seems crucial to land on adversary controlled shores and stop a foothold. Hash 2 AAV 7 A1 from road to water, ship to shore. No better vehicle could highlight the difference and purpose of these corps' expeditionary capacities than the AAV 7A1 amphibious assault vehicle. Its basic purpose of manufacturing is to invade any shoreline or coast from the well decks of Navy assault ships. The key features that create more hype for it is its tracking system. Yes, it can track armored amphibious equipment that can scan the surpassing marines and cargo and be beneficial to hostile territory, as it is a full track landing equipment. AAV-7 A1 can take troops from water to shore and can operate in rough water. And here is another outclass performance that it also can carry those troops on land after a shore. Whoops! This latest invasion amphibian vehicle series started with the Roebling Alligator, which was manufactured for seven years from 1932. Although its first invention was a total disappointment, just beat the limited speed of 25 mph on the road, and in the water it was just 2.5 miles per hour. Oh no, that's bad. What to do now? Well, Roebling didn't lose hope and worked hard, and at last, in 1940, they introduced the crocodile by design changes, and using large engines, this gem could cover up a speed of 9.4 miles per hour. Until now, they have turned into another level of innovation. You cannot imagine what they can do. Even later on, these vehicles were powered by a seven-cylinder radial aircraft engine that can generate 220 horsepower. Although their service life was not quite long, a few of them lasted long. Hash 1 ZBD underscore 05. This colossal giant is an impressive assault, amphibious manufactured by China North Industries Corporation. It can be operated by a high-performance diesel engine and can boost the speed in rough and deep water. It looks like a flat boat. It has built the turret in the middle part of the hull while the engine part on the front can be seen. However, it also serves a passenger area at the rear. To operate this killer beauty, a crew of three is enough, one driver will be at the front, and the gunner and the commander will be in the turret. Can you believe that this amphibious can load 10 fully loaded marines at one time? Roof hatches and rear doors are the two options for entering and exiting. It is featured with a metallic exterior all over the armored part that enables it to consume minor attacks easily. You can have an idea of the protection level in ZBD-05 which is equipped with an atomic cannon, a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, and two Hongjian 73C anti-tank guided missile launchers which can be operated at any moment of the assault. Where are you going? There's much more yet. Do you know each side of the turret is shielded by the 876mm grenade smoke is mounted that is ejectable in any crucial circumstances. Huff. Well, there are also satellite and night visionary systems installed so that nothing could be missed by the eye. ZBD-05 also accommodates the robotic fur control system. Two large water jets aid in propelling that are mounted to the rear of the hull, which not only covers the fire control, but also is able to scan the laser rangefinder where the gunner would be able to have multiple outside visions. Its top speed on the road is 65 miles per hour, while in water it can boost up by 30 km pH. So for today, it seriously looks enough. I mean, these amphibian hulls are so amazing that our curious minds are stuck for a while in water and sometimes on land. It is getting mixed into minds whether the heavy killing beauties are magnificent on one side and to the other. They look like they are securing us so far, so good. Hey, don't try to use your car as an amphibious vehicle. Bet with me, you will sink. Stay safe and tuned and wait for the coming up next to the list.